Hey y'all, it's Kara and welcome back to my channel. I know it's been two months since I've made a video and I'm really sorry about that. I've just been trying to get through med school, but I'm happy to say that I am halfway done with my first year. <laughs> halfway done. <laughs> Thank God, oh my God. Like, Yo, there were moments where I felt like I was not even going to make it through the first half. I am not even kidding. Like, It's been so difficult, it's been so hard, but I'm here to tell you that I've made it halfway and I'm one eighth a doctor, thank you very much. <laughs> Hooray! Um, anyway, yeah, it's just, it's been really hard just like balancing, getting used to the, the workload, the studying, all that stuff and um, I think I might have talked about it in like another video but I am three years out. I did take three years off before med school so just getting used to like all of that and getting used to like, not even getting used to like intense studying, but like, cause med school is just a whole different thing, but compared to undergrad, but just getting used to being in school, like, oh my goodness. Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> um, so my school, we are in a trimester system. So I am halfway done with my first year, but I am in my second trimester. So I'm in a whole new course. I finished anatomy, thank God. I survived, I did it. Um, and now I am in CMBM, which involves, you know, a group of like different courses. So that's like biochem, microbio, pathology, immunology, um, pathology, did I already say that? I don't know, just, it's like five or six different classes. I just study whatever I need to be studying that day. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's like five or, five or six different classes. Um, and I was a bio major in undergrad, so like it's, it helps. Like I, I, I think I'm, I'm, I started off better in this course than I did with anatomy, and I think also because I am now getting used to how med school works, I'm doing a little bit better. Um, I did have a test yesterday that I feel like I didn't do well in, but we're gonna see. Um, it's my, it was my second test of the term, so. Yeah, I don't know. We're gonna see. But I feel a little bit better about this semester than I did for last semester, which is understandable. Um, but yeah, I am just moving along. Just moving along and I just hope I do better in this half than I did the first half. Um, it's all about progress, you know. Progress, not perfection. So that's what we're, that's what we're doing. Um, as far as like everything else in my life, apart from just like surviving <laughs> med school, I do leave for Ghana in two days and I am so freaking excited. I am in my winter break, yeah. So now I'm in winter break, um, which I have 12 days, which is not enough, but it's okay. Um, yeah, but I leave for Ghana in two days and my family's already there. They left me three weeks ago, so, so yeah. So I am just super pumped for the holidays and you know, I go to Ghana every December, every December because uh, my dad lives over there, and we like to spend Christmas together as a family, so every December I'm always in Ghana, I'm always there hanging out with friends and family and just having a good time, enjoying the good weather, enjoying the good food, and like, I just love Ghana, I just love where I'm from, I love being where my family is, and everything about Ghana is just, oh, I love it, like, I love it, the good and the bad, everything that comes with Ghana, like, it's just, it's who I am, it's where I come from, it's, it's, something that I can't really describe it's like when I made my first trip to Ghana which actually wasn't too long ago and I know that that shocks people because of the way that I talk about Ghana but like how much I love it and like how much I go like it, it seems that I've been going like all my life or like I've been you know what I mean like I've I've always gone to Ghana but my first trip was when I was 21 I'm 25 now um, 2015 was my first trip to Ghana and like nothing nothing is like that first trip, you know Nothing beats that feeling um, But I remember being there and I was just like Wow, like I have never like felt this way about a place or anything or I don't know this feeling like I've never had this feeling in my life I mean, just learning about my family was just such a beautiful experience and I it was just a feeling that I've never had before and I didn't know that I could feel the way that I felt and since then like I been think like I'm I've been blessed enough to be able to go to Ghana like once or twice a year like since then I've been going consistently and even during my time off from med school I went like 
for months at a time and I just love God so much like I can't even describe it it's just I love it I love it like I just I love God <laughs> I love it and I am just so excited to to go back and see my dad and see my grandparents and just spend time with my family and every time it's like this you know it's Christmas time and December rolls around I'm just like oh my gosh like the fact that I get to go to Ghana and spend another Christmas there it's just like I am so grateful for it I am so Oh, it's just it's it's such a blessing because I don't think I could go more than a year like away from Ghana away from seeing like my family there and things like that like I don't think I could go a year and luckily I haven't had to do that um, since my first trip you know oh it's just it's amazing I'm excited to just get a little break a well-deserved break and just enjoy being around family so I'm very excited about that and I think I'm also going to do a vlog for the very first time ever in Ghana, I'm going to try my hardest to be consistent. I'm not making any promises because every time that I've said that I'm going to vlog, I'm going to vlog in Ghana, I like never do it or I do it for like an afternoon. And then I look back at those videos and I'm like, oh, I really wish I continued. Like it looked <laughs> like it looked fun. Like it was it's fun to do. Like vlogging is fun. And it was like it's cool sharing like my experience um, with everybody. But I tend to just like, you know, when I'm out and like. You see what I'm doing via like Insta stories and stuff. Um, but I, I really do want to seriously vlog this time around. So hopefully I do. This trip is a very, very short trip because got to get back to school. And my break is not that long. So yeah. Um, but yeah, I'm going to try to vlog. I'm going to try to do all that. But um, yeah, I don't know. I don't really have anything else to say in this video. But I do want to... I think I will vlog, like, uh, like do like a week in med school kind of vlog, like my everyday life. Um, I think I've been so reluctant in just doing that because of just like how hard first term was and that's like understandable so, but like um, I do want to share with you guys like 100% do and I love the questions that I got from other people or other in different like med students and pre-meds about my journey and things like that. I really do love it. I really do really do love answering all of your questions so please keep them coming um my instagram will be here or here in this video um <laughs> so whatever's there um yeah just send me a dm and i'll see it and answer it as fast as i can obviously not this week because i'm going to be on vacation so like i'll see it and probably not respond until later but anyways yeah, just ask me anything you want, anything in these comments, whatever you want to see from me. Like, if you want to see, like, like I said, a week in med school, kind of everyday life in med school vlog, I don't mind doing that. That'll be fun. Um, whatever else. I don't know. Like, study tips, like, MCAT tips. I did make an MCAT video that I never uploaded. I think I'm going to redo it and then, like, share with you guys. Um, yeah, anything about being, like, a med student, pre-med, like, just put any suggestions or whatever you'd like to see from me, like, down below. Um, yeah, I would just love to share it with you guys. So, I think that's all I have to say, but don't forget to like this video and subscribe and share and all that good stuff. And I promise that I'm going to be more consistent on YouTube and upload and all this stuff and share with you guys because I love doing it. I just need to make time for it. I've been struggling with balance. But I hope this term I'm able to like be better with it and all that stuff. So yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for watching. I love you guys. My subscribers, all 70 something of you guys. <laughs> love you guys so much. Thank you for rocking with me. I appreciate it. I love you. And I will see you next time. Bye.